is um, Rebecca Michael. I am the advocacy manager for the Independent Center, and this is the Independent Center podcast. Today, I have a guest with me that is here to talk about talk about our certified nurses aid program, and I will let this the, um, my guest introduce herself. So, um, Rebecca, go ahead. My name is Rebecca Hall, and I work over at the CNA training program. And it is the building right next to the independent sector. So, Rebecca, let, let's talk about you for a second before we dive into the program. Um, can you tell me how you came to the independent center and why, do you, why are you doing this work? Well, I am new to Colorado Springs. I recently moved here this past fall. And upon coming to Colorado, I was searching around for a way to become involved with the deaf and hard of hearing community. I myself am deaf. I speak and sign fluently, and I also wear hearing aids. When I finally found out some information about the Independent Center, I knew right away I had to find a way to get involved because their mission is just one that's very close and dear to my heart. So I applied for the position and um, I was lucky enough to get it. And here I am. Wonderful. So how about we talk a little bit about your experience and also um, your education. So where did you go to school? I went to RIT, which is the Rochester Institute of Technology, located in Rochester, New York. Sounds cold. It is cold. It is cold. You guys have a much better winter out here in the springs. (laughs) Yes, we do. I've heard it's very cold there. So good good job on sticking it out, going to college there. Wow. (laughs) Well, thank you. (laughs) So what did you, what is your degree in? What did you study? My degree is in biology. I absolutely love animals. And prior to coming to the Independence Center, I actually worked as a zookeeper. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you went from animals to now helping humans help humans. Exactly. Well, we're all related. Animals are humans. Yes. That's, yeah, that's true. Humans are animals. (laughs) That's true. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about um, the CNA program and um, how it became part of the Independent Center. Of course. Uh, well, we recently purchased the building next to the Independent Center in 2015, and we were able to move our location to be right next to the center, which has really been beneficial to everyone. Sure. Um, we have a small facility, but we got it all there. Um, a nice small classroom. We offer four different labs where students can practice their skills. Um, and what I love most about the CNA school is its relationship to our home health department. One of the agencies at the Independent Center um, helps both caregivers and clients be matched up with each other so they can assess what sort of needs the clients have and what sort of caregiver is best matched for them. Okay, so Rebecca, let's talk about the details of the CNA program. What does the CNA program offer? How does someone get lined up to, to participate in the program. So give me all those great details. All right. So let's talk about those details. Uh, first of all, we are currently offering both day and evening classes for four weeks. In those four weeks, our students will do 104 hours total. So it is a bit of an intense program that does require a commitment on the part of our students. Our daytime classes run from Monday to Thursday from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. And our evening classes also go Monday through Thursday from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. So we do try to offer some, you know, different options so your schedule can fit into your school hours. Um, So the way our program is set up, during your first two weeks of class, you're primarily going to be working from the textbook 
and then going into the labs and practicing those skills with your fellow students. Um, all the classes get to know each other really well. We only take in 10 students per class. So you really have the intention of your instructor. And you practice those skills with your, your fellow students. So you'll be brushing their teeth and washing their feet. So like I said, by the time you graduate at the end of your fourth week, um, you all really feel like friends you know we got that sense of um of family family yes oh yes definitely when you clean someone's feet I've, I've heard that that is um a like an intimate gesture so when you get to that point where you're washing someone's feet that um yeah I would probably be very close to a person too yes definitely <laughs> lots of lots of laughter lots of giggling with that I'm if sure. you're ticklish <laughs> I'm sure um uh. so tell us how we find this um the CNA information where do we go who do we call all that fun stuff our website has okay. some amazing information about our program um, they will have all of the class hours, just in case, you know, you want to reference that. In addition, we have a class calendar. So you can enroll for any class that we have in the 2019 calendar year. Our next available start date is going to be March 11th. But as soon as one class ends, the next one begins. So is there a wait list if you're, cl if you're only taking 10 students at one time? Is there a wait list so that they can get into the next class? We have open enrollment. So as student, as soon as a class fills up, then we will close the class and you can sign up for the next available date. Gotcha. Excellent. Um, is there... Um, a phone number that they can call if they don't have a computer? Of course, you can reach me at my direct number, which is 719-505-5523. And then um, can they come into our office and, and ask questions? Definitely. Um, I do advise you to give me a quick call before you come in, just to make sure that someone's there to give you a tour. And we love when visitors stop by. You know, we love giving information out about the school, letting you see what we're all about, introducing you to our instructors. Um, both of our instructors are lovely. Jackie is our daytime instructor, and she was an OR nurse for over 20 years. So a lot of her stories really bring the textbook to life. And Heather is our evening instructor, and she has had experience in just about every department of nursing you can think of, from home health, hospice, rehab, and long-term care. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we got some really good um, instructors that are going to support our, our students. We really do. I think there's a great selling point of our program is our teachers, um, they bring a lot to the table. Gotcha. Is there any financial assistance right now that is offered? We have a partnership okay. with Pikes Peak Workforce. And if you call over there, they will assign you to a case manager and they will see if you qualify for what we call a sponsorship. Okay. In addition, if you are currently working in the healthcare industry, a lot of employers will provide funds for our student if they are interested oh, wow. in becoming a CNA. That's excellent. That's really great. And isn't the CNA certification a requirement for a nursing degree? It is. So if you are interested in getting your kickstart into the medical field, it's really a great step one of the process, especially if you are pursuing the nursing career. Um, I believe now all nursing programs in Colorado require a CNA license. Gotcha. So really... If you start with us, then you can move on to bigger and better and greater things. Definitely, definitely. And in your third week of class, we do a portion of the program called clinicals. And our students will physically go to a skilled nursing facility and shadow other CNAs and RNs and really get a taste for if it is a good fit for them. So we really try to make sure when you leave our program 
that not only do you know what to expect for your new career, but you feel confident that it's a good fit for you. Gotcha. Wonderful. All right. Thank you, Rebecca. You are welcome, Becca. I appreciate all of this information. And I'm sure we've probably confused our listeners by Rebecca and Rebecca in the same room together. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so um, just to, to circle around, if you have any questions about the, the CNA school or if you are just kind of wondering about this information, please check out our website. It's the theindependentcenter.org. And you can search for it. It has great information about the CNA program and then also our independent living center and um, our home health agency. So um, thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate it, Rebecca. Thanks, Becca. Thank you.